Welcome to another lecture of control engineering. We will uh, carry on with few more examples of where control system is being used in our daily life. Now, uh, the example shown in this figure is a stirred tank heater. So, uh, the target is to maintain the temperature of this uh, liquid kept in the tank. The temperature measuring element or the sensor that senses the temperature and sends it to the controller. The controller gives instruction to the electrical power or steam mechanism which provides energy to the uh, tank system so to raise the temperature of the tank. The inflow of the tank is Ti and the outflow of the tank is T. So water comes into the tank and water flows out of the tank and we use a stirrer mechanism to maintain the uh, uniform temperature within the tank. So this stirrer rotates continuously uh, so as to uh, uniformly distribute the heat uh, within the tank. So here uh, the process is the variable that we are trying to control is the temperature of the tank and the sensor uh, temperature measuring element is used that is the sensor it is fed back to the uh, controller the controller has a reference in its input along with the present measurement so it compares both these and say suppose you want to maintain the temperature at 25 degrees celsius the reference temperature is 25 degrees celsius and the current temperature that is measured say for example it is 20 degrees celsius then uh, tm is 20 and tr is 25 the difference is 5 degrees celsius so proportional to this 5 degrees celsius an instruction is given to the heating element to raise the temperature so that the temperature within the tank reaches this set point of 25 degrees celsius so present temperature is 20 the instruction is given here to raise the temperature from 20 to 25 so that is the process that is the closed loop process that is happening here so our human body is one of the most complex uh, control system uh, one example of control system that is happening within our body is the blood glucose maintenance so glucose is to be maintained in the bloodstream of human body at all time the normal level of the blood glucose is 70 to 130 milligram per deciliter now when the blood glucose level are high bioreceptors send signal to the brain which instructs pancreas to release insulin to the bloodstream this causes cells to take up blood glucose sorry cells to take up glucose from the blood as a result blood glucose level lower back to the normal so here the process is the body the maintenance of blood glucose in the body now the sensor that is used here are the uh, bioreceptors or the therm bioreceptor uh, cells so these are enzymes that send a signal to the brain now the set point is the normal body temperature the normal body blood glucose level that is 70 to 130 mg per dl now the controlled variable that the variable that we want to maintain the variable that we are controlling the controlled variable that is the blood glucose and the manipulated variable is the insulin that is released to the bloodstream so this insulin is the element the manipulated variable that the brain uses to maintain the blood glucose so manipulated variable helps the uh, helps us to maintain the control variable at the desired level so insulin re released by the pancreas is the manipulated variable now what are the possible disturbances to this uh, system uh, the breakfast or the food intake that increases the blood glucose in the uh, the glucose in the blood so that is a disturbance to the system now the controller used here is the brain itself so the brain is the controller so the set point is given to the brain the present measurement is going into the brain and based on the difference between the present measurement with the set point the brain is giving instruction to the insulin so those are called actuators so insulin to maintain the blood glucose at the desired level so this is the process 
Now let us move on to another example which is uh, in the human body. Uh, the body temperature regulation. So human body is to be maintained at uh, 37 degrees Celsius ideally to uh, so this temperature regulation is also a control system. So how is this process happening? So the process is uh, maintain the body temperature of human body. Now the body temperature if it exceeds 37 degrees Celsius say for example it goes beyond 37 degrees Celsius. Now uh, the sensors, the thermoreceptors or the nerve cells in the skin and the brain will sense this temperature variation and it gives the information, the sensed information, the raised temperature information uh, to the temperature regulatory center in the brain. Now, this temperature, temperature regulatory center in the brain gives instruction to the set gland uh, throughout the body to uh, lower the body temperature. So this is the manipulated variable, the instruction or the signal given to the sweat glands is the manipulated variable. Now what are the possible uh, disturbances to the system? The temperature outside, the ambient temperature may increase the body temperature of a person. So uh, ambient temperature, the food intake may raise the body temperature. So there are different external disturbances to the system where the body temperature rises. Now uh, the uh, temperature thermoregulatory center in the brain that is the controller here. So that hypothalamus part or the temperature regulatory center in the brain is the controller and that controller uh, gives instructions or gives signals to the sweat glands that is the manipulated variable. Uh, to maintain the temperature of the body at its desired set point of 37 degrees Celsius. Now the controlled variable is the temperature of the body. This uh, is used in normal day-to-day -day life like this is a tank system and we have to maintain the level of the tank. Now here this float is the uh, equipment that gives uh, the signal and here the Opening and closing of this valve is what is the signal. So if the float is low, that uh, uh, the level of the tank is low, the float is at bottom and this uh, lever will be pulled up. So that water from the reservoir flows into the tank. And it is sufficiently uh, high, then automatically this uh, float will give the signal or it senses the uh, position and this valve is closed. So this is the uh, process here. This is a simple mechanism where we don't require any uh, computer or chip to control this level of the tank. It is a mechanical system. So uh, we uh, sense the uh, level of the tank and then the valve is opened and closed accordingly based on the level of the tank. So once a level is reached a sufficient uh, height then this uh, valve will be closed automatically. So these are a few examples uh, where we use control mechanisms. There are examples which use computer, there are examples which are only mechanical. So from all these examples we need we should be able to identify what is the process, what are the sensors that we use, what are the set point, what is the controlled variable, what is the manipulated variable, what are the possible disturbances to the system and what is a controller, what is the function of a controller. So, thank you.